uh, thought of this poster several years ago when, uh, after hearing problem talks about how invasive aquatic weeds um, in, interfered with or promoted uh, mosquito uh, breeding. The, uh, in California, the main, one of the main one of the main things on combating mosquitoes is uh, uh, using biorational larv uh, larvicides that target the larva without killing the uh, critters that eat uh, the predators. And the uh, that's we uh, found out that the uh, that uh, invasive aquatic weeds displace the normal flora uh, and crowd out the uh, the the predators and such. Two of the main offenders are the uh, are the uh, uh, Ludwigia species, uh, I'll call it known as water evening primrose. It gets so thick you can walk across, almost walk across it. It completely, uh, it totally fills the waterway, and as you say, you cannot get the granules into the water, and as say it uh, degrades water quality, etc. The other bad guy in, in the uh, Bay Area is the um, a salt marsh, uh, uh, smooth smart, salt, mar salt marsh cardgrass. The real offender in this area is an invasive uh, Spartina. It's a Spartina uh, foliosa, which is the native crosses with the um, crosses with the okay okay crosses with fo uh, foliosa cross crosses. Uh, several years ago, it was found that imaprazir was when imaprazir was approved for uh, aquatic use in California, it was used. This is a very highly successful collaboration. The uh, Spartina Invasive Spartina Control Project and the San Mateo County Mosquito Abatement District worked together uh, in in this project. The the this this particular weed was marching out into the bay, and one of the problems it, it caused was it uh, as the tide went out, salt water was left uh, high was left uh, standing, and there's a salt marsh, uh, the AD species salt marsh mosquitoes are aggressive day biters. So what it is, is the, the collaboration was between the uh, Spartina people actually paid the, had a, a murmur contract that they actually paid the mosquito abatement district for using their personnel and equipment. The uh, James Counts, who was the, uh, the operations uh, manager, felt it was far better to have his people uh, doing the spraying rather than having to pull uh, people out uh, that were unfamiliar with the equipment or the uh, area. Um, I think one of the take, uh, I've, I'm happy to say that since this poster was made several years ago, the project has been so successful throughout, throughout the San Francisco Bay area that uh, the, these invasive Spartina is down to a few Isolated areas, they're spot spraying uh, periodically and such. It's also it's what it's done is resulted in uh, uh, restoration of habitat. Fortunately, there's enough of the natives were able to come back and reestablish themselves in these uh, salt marsh areas. And again, uh, in summary, invasive aquatic and riparian weeds are a major threat to waterways, uh, displacing na native vegetation that supports wildlife. They also degrade water quality and as I mentioned, uh, increase the risk of disease carrying and nuisance mosquitoes. Uh, control of these plants enhances wildlife, uh, water quality and aesthetic values, as well as assisting mosquito control efforts. And this is a really a poster child, poster child, for collaboration amongst uh, agencies and non-governmental weed control and such in, and vector control organizations in uh, getting effective control. Thank you.